So I'm probably gonna have to like, yeah, they have like an hour countdown. Yeah. Which one, where does it actually start? Okay. They still got the countdown in the corner. To about the one I here. found it from IGN is five hours long. There we go. I think I found it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, there's a 10 count. Close enough. Here's, here's what Ubisoft has for this. They normally do pretty good conferences. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Ubisoft, but I like a lot of the stuff they put out, so we'll see. Yeah, exactly. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Ubisoft Forward. I'm Mila. And oh, I'm actual uh, captions so for once. to be back hosting Ubisoft Forward. Over the next hour, we'll be your guides to all the latest news and exciting announcements coming from Ubisoft. We've got so much in store for you today, including deeper looks at Far Cry 6, Riders Republic, and Rainbow Six, plus a few other surprises you'll find out about well, soon enough. Well, Kobe, will you have me about Rainbow I'm Six excited. on the shirt? We're filming this together. We got this gorgeous set. E3 is back. But I know why y'all are here. You want to see games. So let's get right into it. The Rainbow yes. Six operators are facing off against an evolving and deadly threat. You'll no doubt have noticed that the alien parasite has spread to new areas. It's time to suit up and step into the containment zone. Here's a deeper look at Rainbow Six Extraction. I used to feel so much peace staring into the heavens until a piece of it fell. I know it's wishful thinking, but I'm hoping for a new Rayman game, and I don't mean a Rabbits game. Yeah. Damn, when was the last Rayman's game release? Wasn't it on the Switch? Uh, the Rayman uh, Le Legends came out. We thought it could be contained. It was supposed to be a Wii U, uh, but it a evolved. Wii U launch type of game. So we did too. One of our own is MIA. Like it was or I time exclusive on Wii. It was supposed to come now. out in like 2012. I think pushing yeah. back to 2013. Like that. Yeah, to yeah, August 29th, 2013. You will find it. Oh so yeah, it's been a good eight, almost eight years. But I know you will find it's a bad me time. Yeah. first. Tom Clancy. Jesus, that thunder is getting loud. I have your signal. Let's go. Yeah, my headphones are just a grade down below uh, noise canceling. I can hear them through it. I feel like they aren't wearing nearly enough armor for this. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Very good. There's the ring. 
I didn't get the rain, I just got the thunder. Ooh, it is pouring. Hey. Jesus. You are throwing me a party? <laughs> yeah. Too bad you missed all the fireworks. Oh, I can barely... It's... It's, it's thick out there. Now, I know you must have a ton of questions after seeing that trailer, and we have answers as well as a full gameplay walkthrough. Yes, coming I have up. a ton so of questions. The big one is, where's Rayman? My name is Richard. I'm your resident community developer coming to you from North Carolina. We're thrilled to be back to give you an introduction to Rainbow Six Extraction. With me today in Montreal, I have Bruno Lalonde, our lead technical director, and Alicia Fortier, game designer, to help walk us through. Alicia, what can we tell our players about Extraction? Extraction is a one to three player co-op experience. You might think you know what you're getting into since there's gonna be some of your favorite Rainbow Six operators, but it's gonna be completely different because this time you're not fighting against each other. You're coming together to face an unprecedented, evolving alien threat. Some of the operator's abilities, gadgets, and tech should feel familiar to Siege players but this time, as you progress through the game, you'll unlock new ability upgrades and a whole new arsenal specifically designed to take on this new threat. So the operators we just saw in that trailer are very familiar, but what happened to Hibana? She got captured. In extraction, you're always putting it all on the line. If your teammate falls during an incursion, you're gonna go missing in action. You can't play MIA operators until they're safely recovered. You and your squad are gonna have to come back together to get back in there and get them out. Every time you go in the containment zone, you risk losing all your progress and upgrades. So stay on your toes and weigh every move you make. Balancing that risk and reward scenario is going to be tough. Bruno, can you tell us a little bit more about the alien threat? What is it? Who are they? And where do they come from? What we know is the Archings are an evolved form of the Parasite that was first detected a few years ago during the Arbreak event in New Mexico. But a lot has changed since. The Parasite has spread to three new regions, emerging in several containment zones within New York, San Francisco, and Alaska. This, this guy is definitely has a Montreal accent. So Within the yeah. containment zones, the alien ecosystem is in a continual evolution. As incubation nests and their sprawling tissue spawn procedurally, taking over different areas of the map and reaction to the player presence. The parasite is always spreading, always evolving, but it didn't look too happy about the operators disturbing their new home. What are we facing off against? Well, the black goo-like sprawl is probably the first thing you will take on. It spreads to the map once your presence is detected, slowing progress and helping the Archings. Some of the other threats you may have seen in the trailer are the long-range spiker, the explosive breacher, the shape-shifting tormentor. This kind of Resident the Evil-ish. There's a but, lot yeah. more species of Archings and mutations. At least like that seven with the goo monsters. More to come on that yeah. very soon. Thank you both so much for joining me. I'm really excited to dig into more of the details. We still have crossplay to talk about. Yes, that's right. Extraction will bring everyone together regardless of the platform. And for our Rainbow Six Siege community, we have exclusive unlocks for you in both games. Okay, you've been waiting long enough. Let's take an exclusive first look at some gameplay footage. Here is Rainbow Six Extraction. Welcome to Rainbow Six Extraction, the new tactical co-op shooter game where Rainbow Six operators are dropped into alien territory. In today's walkthrough, we're on a mission to investigate anomalies identified at the Orpheus Research Center in Alaska. HQ will provide additional instructions. We need new data on the Parasite's underground network. It keeps evolving, adapting. Plant auto trackers on dormant nests. Don't destroy them, or we'll lose the trackers. As a squad of three, Ella, Alibi, and Sledge will use their operator abilities to complete the Alibi. Objectives, assist each other, and obliterate Archeans in their way. <laughs> That's a name. Yeah. That 
that's a grunt. Easy for a nest to incubate and bring to life, not so easy to eliminate in large numbers. Converge on location, nice and quiet. The enemy reacts to intrusions in their ecosystem, including operators. Eliminate my target. So stealth tactics are the way to go. Visual on nest. Place auto trackers for our react scientists. Auto tracker activated. Auto tracker activated. Parasite generates sprawl, a substance that connects the whole ecosystem. Alert an Archean, and a nearby nest wakes up too. Archeans move faster in sprawl, but operators get slowed down. Take my guy out. The squad can use their react light to see bioluminescent properties in Archeans and in the environment. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't find special events. The contrast helps to listed. better identify know. targets. Oh god. I could change it. That is... I can't see out my window. Oh yeah, it's that bad, eh? Oh yeah. Good job. Identifying like I can see the, the I can kind of see the green the tent from my grass, but that's not it. Goddamn. It Hasn't been this bad in a long time. Mm -hmm. Get out of there before the swarm appears. Don't push your luck. Airlock, go! Oh, hello, Riku. That was close. Here, the team can regroup and resupply. Wait, why, why are you pausing those loot open emotes. onto the next subzone? Which will be tougher than the I think because you're a swimsuit. Ah. We need tissues. Oh, we got a few people are. feeling a little something. Some way. It is a pretty cute swimsuit. Yes. Cute swimsuit on a cute body. Fish you. So you have to shoot the goo, my dude. Get that sample. Yeah. We've located a spiker. It can or as I said last night, goo your shoot, my dude. Alibi deploys a prisma hologram. Goo your dude, my shoot. Does this clip have the usual cringe acting? I don't know. The more intel they collect, the more tech they'll have at their disposal to fight off this threat. It's all about teamwork to outsmart the enemy. Barricade that spot. Reinforcing the wall. Creating a choke. I think this is all in game uh, voice acting. Not to. Eyes on hostile! Yeah, it sounds like it in game. That's the react threat sensor. Yeah, normally it's only this Smash bad for like a minute. It's been going for a while now. Yeah. <laughs> Such unreal distinct gameplay. It's supposed to be everyone opening fire instantly on everything. <laughs> That'd be me. Yeah. Wow, that did it. Take out the leader. No leader for the Archies to follow. Another objective completed. The squad can either exfil at the extraction point to bring home the latest intel or move to the next airlock. The third subzone will be the most challenging yet. A true test of both tactical team strategy and operator reflexes. Some Archeans are responding to an elite as if they're communicating. No way we'd let them mobilize against us. Hunt them down until the elite comes out of hiding. I think I just found the best headline. What? I said I think I might have just found the best headline ever. Yeah? What is it? Yeah. McDonald's Mc, McDonald's Japan's new Taste of Mommy milkshake brings a marvelous milky milkshake to the menu. 
<laughs> East of Mommy. Oh, Japan. Rescue mission is underway. React still needs you. React, that's what we're Operators, doing. It's time to unite and stand yeah. together against this emerging threat. Squad up with friends in co-op or step into the containment alone. Stay tuned for more Rainbow Six Extraction Intel coming very soon. If you think fighting aliens is tough, try learning guitar. Well, that was a segue. Ten years ago, Rocksmith redefined music learning by introducing the first console game that taught millions how to play guitar. Oh, new Rocksmith? Whether you're already an expert or just Rocksmith. starting out, Rocksmith has an approach that's for everyone. A fun Rocksmith is a game that comes guitar, with a, playing your favorite an attachment and in the uh, that lets release, you plug in a real guitar into your console amplified. or PC. This year, let's turn Ooh, out that and, it cool. teaches you how to, and it teaches you how to play songs. That's really cool. I have the attachment. I mostly bought the game. I got the game when it was on like for ten bucks, to mostly to get the attachment so I could record guitar easier. Uh huh. I just don't know where my attachment is. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's really cool, though. <clears throat> so now it's using sound detection instead of uh, plugins. So you can do acoustic guitar. And it plays like Guitar Hero, as you can probably see. Mm -hmm. Hey, Saul. Yeah, these are. Um, well, I'm watching the stuff from Saturday now that I missed. Uh, we watched the other stuff and it was pretty boring, so we were like, eh, let's move on to the next thing. Yeah, no one really had anything too crazy so far. I just realized this music might be copyrighted. Oops. Ah. <laughs> A bit late there. Yep. Shit. Was, oh, I've well. been doing music too much. <laughs> it's a music game. I just like Nagel, I thought of producer at Ubisoft San yeah. Francisco. And Rocksmith yeah, has truly been a dream project for me. As a lifelong gamer and a touring musician, Rocksmith is what I wish I had when I started learning music. And that's why I'm thrilled to share the next evolution of music learning, Rocksmith Plus, a new interactive music learning subscription service available this year. <laughs> Learn how to play guitar and bass by playing Man, along to master- Man, Developer Digital is right on the fucking songs. nose with all Connect these. your instrument to your PC, console, or mobile device, and get real-time Every service has to have Plus, or New, or Connecting Max, or something in their name. Plus, will be easier than ever now that you can use your phone as a microphone. Download the app, log in, sync to Rocksmith Plus, set it down, and play along. 
Now acoustic players and electric players with amps can use Rocksmith Plus with no extra gear needed. It's a game changer. And we're excited to reveal Rocksmith Plus will have a huge amount of songs at launch. All songs in the library will have chord charts that will be perfect for rhythm players who want to learn the foundation of a song to hum and strum along to. We'll still have the note-for-note -note authentic arrangements for players that want to play songs exactly how the artists originally played them. And each week, we'll release a steady stream of new authentic arrangements to keep growing that portion of the library. We're also introducing the Rocksmith Workshop, a new tool that lets users create and add their own arrangements for oh. songs we've licensed. Ooh. Your subscription will give way you to write your own music. to all those songs. More content yeah. than ever before, really including cool. genres beyond rock. We'll have pop, hip hop, country, Latin, R&B, all sorts of metal subgenres. We'll have music from all over the world, from big stars to indie darlings. It's the most diverse song library ever seen in music learning software. Rocksmith Plus will still have our proven practice features like adaptive difficulty and riff repeater, which let you practice and learn at your own pace or slow down and repeat tricky parts until you master them. We've improved those features in Rocksmith Plus and are introducing new ones. Beginner and intermediate players will benefit from more personalized learning. Thanks to an enhanced recommendation system and more robust progress Jesus, tracking, still going. players won't just see their growth on a single what, yep. five They can now already. monitor their progress technique by technique across the board. And overall, there's a lot to go over. A better there, sense no, no, no. I'm talking about the rain. Over time. Oh, the rain. Advanced oh, okay. Will be happy to yeah, it's still absolutely thundering down. Rocksmith yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. That way you could take advantage of Rocksmith Plus's song library. It sounds like it's lighting up a little bit, but it's still in a thick format out. that's familiar and one that will hone your tavern <sighs> skills. We're excited to announce right that you can register for a chance to participate in our closed beta right after the show. Uh, Visit our website at rocksmith.com yeah, right to now. get an early yeah. look at Rocksmith Plus and help us test and create the future of music learning. Thank you so much to the amazing fans who have enjoyed and supported Rocksmith over the past 10 years. Let's jam together with Rocksmith Plus for another 10. Register now for a chance to play the Rocksmith Plus beta. Summer's coming and nothing gets thrill seekers blood flowing like bright sun and fresh trails. And Riders Republic will give them just that. Last year, you got a first look at our massive multiplayer outdoor sports extravaganza. Since then, the project's grown by jumps and grinds. I don't remember what this game is. Me either. Oh. Not gonna miss it this time. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn, you soft. Mm. Yeah, no, this still doesn't look familiar, but it's definitely not my kind of game, so that doesn't surprise me. This sounds familiar. Mm. This looks like, uh, oh, you know what? I think they showed mm. like a small trailer of this once. I thought it was a skateboard game, though. Looks like just a big old sports mash em up. Mm -hmm. An extreme sports mash up. Yeah. Uh, we saw a little bit, but we haven't seen much uh, yet, Ben Boy. Mm -hmm. Still pretty early in the Ubisoft. Prim yeah, this is, this is an extreme sports game. Yeah, definitely not my kind of thing. I mean, I like the Tony Hawk series. I do mm -hmm. like a lot of extreme sports stuff, but like, I've been to find a game that does it as well as those games is kind of tough. Yeah. Plus, it seems like it's some sort of a PvP thing almost. Not like combat wise, but competition wise. Like you're competing against a bunch of other people. Yeah, it's a competitive kind of game for sure. Yeah. Well, the more reason it's not really my kind of thing. Since... Welcome back, Sky. Hello. 
Oh my feeling god, better? you're massive. I am big. I am big girl. <laughs> big. Big cute. Oh, and I'm big as well now. Yep, I'm fixing it. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be sandwiched between me? Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still am. <laughs> there we go. I'm wondering why it's muted. It's because it's copyright music. <laughs> I assumed. Yeah. yeah, I think this is interesting that not a lot of things have done, like the, the jetpack thing. Mm -hmm. Like the jet glider thing. Like... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. That doesn't look like something that'll work. It'll work. Yeah, it'll work. It does no, work. Not the, it's real. Not the not the jetpack, the guy with the little spinny blade on his back. Yeah, that's real. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. That's surprising, that's honestly. Some of these bike tricks. Mm-hmm. More realistic than that bike trick. <laughs> <laughs> what was that one we saw the oh my god I'm flailing <laughs> oh <laughs> what are we watching right now by the way Ubisoft uh, yeah oh yeah this is Ubisoft okay <laughs> Steven lighter. Spielberg is just drooling over a lawsuit there oh. what <laughs> the bikes crossing the moon oh yeah. Yeah, didn't really miss anything with the uh, PC game show. Uh, Back for Blood was just a little 10 minute thing. Uh, which one did you leave for during uh, De Devolver? Uh, after Devolver. After Devolver? I don't think we really did anything. Oh, yeah, there was Squeenix, we... but there wasn't really anything too crazy. We tried to do the PC game show. I ended up getting a headache, so we took a break. <laughs> we're like, yeah, we're done with this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It is a headache kind of day then. It's not just me. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got a little bit of headache. I've still got a little bit of one now, but now that we switched to Ubisoft, it's not as bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm if getting it's real bad, I'll probably take an Advil or something. I was gonna take an leave, but like I'd have to eat something else, and I'm not hungry, so. And you can yeah. pre-order now and claim your right to rip. I popped an Excedrin and okay. have been a turkey so wrap. Some it's of our delicious. favorite Rainbow Six operators Yummy. battling alien parasites. But how's their day job going? You know, ever since Crimson Heist, we're still trying to clear all those pesky Flores drones off the maps. Year six is off to a blazing start, oh. with Siege passing 200,000 concurrent players a few weeks ago. If you haven't joined in yet, 2021 is the perfect time to drop in. More Siege, eh? Oh, hey, look, it's Tom Clancy. <laughs> The Tom Colancy? Tom Colancy. Hi, Tom Colancy. Six years into our journey with Siege, we are humbled and grateful for the enthusiastic community. Is that the Tom Colancy right there? So today is all about sharing. <laughs> I'm glad the, the dumb joke survived. <laughs> dramatically improve player experience. With the community growing every day, we've been hard at work finding ways to improve your ability to play with your friends and meet new players. On June 30th, we are unifying our PC and cloud-based platforms with crossplay and cross-progression. That oh, means okay, that any player cool. on Amazon Luna, Yay. Stadia, or PC... I mean, I don't know how many people are actually using Stadia, but okay. While having I might use it a little bit. What the fuck is yeah. Luna? And for no idea. Players, I've never heard of it. Early 2022, <laughs> crossplay will be available Ooh, between cross PlayStation between Xbox and, and PlayStation Xbox as well. And the cross-progression oh, will be available between all platforms. That's pretty big. For these updates, we needed to beat more time see that in order to often. prepare and make sure they have a smooth launch. Yeah, Kalin Kalindria, I have no idea. Everyone. It will finally I don't know what allow you is. to play with your friends across different platforms. It also means that your progression will now follow you anytime and anywhere Amazon. you play. 
We know cosplay. Is that what that is? is? Amazon? Amazon, Amazon is Luna is a cloud oh, gaming platform announced on September 24, 2020, fan. with early access the available to subscribers by invitation beginning October 20th. That's right, I remember that we now. Cannot thank you enough for your support. Yeah, I never heard of this. It is because of you that Siege keeps evolving and growing. To wrap up, here's a brand new animated trailer. There was something Sorry, interesting about down. Luna the new that I was kind of interested in, but I don't remember Check what it was. Out. <laughs> Fair enough. Ready? Six years ago, I met a pilot. She saved my life. Bear. <sighs> Damn. I mean, well, definitely it's Amazon's they have. They have to have everything That's everyone else has. I mean, have they even yeah. finished their first game, the MMO? They have a game? That's that was from the first uh, thing we watched on a few days ago. Was it? They, yeah, two MMOs. Both were by both were Amazon. Oh. Listen, I need to get this bird in the air. And we talked. We were poking fun at how generic they looked. Remember? Oh right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this still supposed What's to be related to Siege? Huh? Yeah, no, she's dead. I'm sure I even downloaded it. The last test build was a nightmare. New projects are the only things to be excited about this year. Take a look at the incredible updates coming to our live games in 2021. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! The new Ninja Turtles. I didn't know they were doing a game for Ninja Turtles. They're making a sequel to Turtles in Time, finally, and it's done in the classic style. Okay. It's called Shredder's Revenge, I believe. Hmm. <gasps> New track mania. I love how ridiculous track mania is. <laughs> Bounce on water. New Brawlhalla. Oh, they're adding the Ninja Turtles to Brawlhalla. Okay. Yeah. There is a new Ninja Turtles game coming out, though. Oh. The Crew Where's... 2. Live oh, update, so that's, that's not oh. a sequel. Oh, man. Cars. Yeah, we're all so crazy about cars. Listen, there's a tabletop game called Car Lesbians, and I kind of want to play it. Is it cars that are lesbians or lesbians driving cars? No, it's about lesbians driving cars. Okay. Watchdogs again. Okay, yes, you just showed these us these. Where are you showing us again? From the release of the Ghost Experience to the latest teammate update, Ghost Recon Breakpoint keeps evolving thanks to your feedback. Tom oh Clancy! God, the entire That's time. God all. damn it. As 2021 what? Marks oh, the 20th she was muted the whole time. Uh, we are happy to announce that I was having one of those moments like, ah, oh, people aren't paying attention to what I'm saying. Could have been like saying the same thing and then you guys say, oh, damn it, I'm muted. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, it just proves we're all on the same wavelength. Always been about yep. with friends and family. That's the third Tom Clancy company, game they've mentioned. No so move the coffee table. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Homeowners Association. The Tom, Tom Clancy. The Tom it's... Clancy. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Tom Clancy. Oh, okay, time to mute. mute. Yeah, mute. If you want to dance, it's another dance game. It's the same dance We've game. We've got a version for Wii, but not the Wii U. <laughs> Sorry, Todd, recall. We can't yeah, listen to you. I'm right just going to keep you muted anyways. <laughs> yeah, knowing them, they got the music playing in the background the whole time. Mm -hmm. Wish I could enjoy Just Dance, but I can't. <laughs> Why is that? It's just not fun. <laughs> There's a Just Dance world in VR chat. Ugh. Really? Do my friends sometimes go? And like, holy shit! Uh, hey, uh, everyone. Uh, I, I know most people don't like Epic Games and all that, but the free yeah. game this week is fucking Control. Yeah, I saw what? that. Like, yeah, uh, go get it right the fuck now. If you don't have it, get it. Also, I mean, they have they Epic. have um, uh, Discord Nitro for three months for free, but because I already have Nitro, I can't use mine, so I gotta give the code to somebody else. Yeah, that's same. I still need to re-download a bunch of shit, so I still need to re-download Epic Game Store. Yeah, I didn't have it installed. I had to, oh, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to install Epic Game Store. So I installed it. Yeah. And I'm still finding small things I need to re-add to this PC, so... Yep. I tried to install the bare minimum when I erased my computer because I was like, you know what? I don't want to have a bunch of extra shit on my PC. I'll just install mm -hmm. stuff as I need it. Yeah. I mean, my main big ones was my browser, Steam, Discord, and really that was about it. Everything else I'm just slowly adding in as I remember. Yeah, that... Did you use the multi-installer? No, because by the time that I got past everything else, I already had just about everything I'd normally have installed. Installed. <laughs> because obviously I needed Discord. Obviously I needed Firefox, so I could actually get it access to all my passwords and shit. It's like right. at, at that point, I basically have everything. Oh, they didn't make a Wii version this time. Wow. Whoa. Oh wow. Crazy. Whoa, Genshin Impact is free right now too. Plan. Wait. But your journey with support Shh. is far from over. Sky. Sky. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. No, it's it's on the free it's on the advertising free list on Epic. I mean they're not wrong. They're not wrong. Uh you get some extra stuff with it, might as well claim it. I've already downloaded the game before and dropped it. I'm not downloading it. So again. I played it on PS4, so I probably can't claim whatever it is. We released Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Redeem. Yeah, plus, oh yeah. To our delight, Redeem. I'm not gonna download it. I'm not downloading it on PC. Assassin's Creed game today, and we have you to thank for that. You just don't download it on PC. Becoming Eivor, a Viking leader That's going a terrible on a quest idea. to fight for a new home, is an adventure that resonated closely with many of you. I certainly had fun exploring England with Eivor and stumbling across unique world events that left me with memorable side stories. Oh, hey, it's Ass Assassin's Creed. <laughs> you gotta have two asses in your creed. To the Viking lifestyle. Yes. You've led more than 300 million raids in total and built more than 100 million buildings in your settlements. Congrats. Eivor still and has six a million long of them ahead, were giant penises. And we've been continuing to offer free 100%. updates for all players to enjoy post-launch. I would be disappointed if it wasn't. These updates include time-limited festivals, new quests, and even whole new game modes, such as the River Raids update and the Mass Tree Challenge. So is this even Ass Assassin's Creed anymore? We add in community requested tweaks. Depends on how you define Ass Assassin's Creed. For instance, Creed. we'll be adding one-handed swords in the coming weeks. The team is also working hard at tackling issues and improving the game experience for everyone. We've been tracking various known issues on our forums and also shared our complex bug fixing process in a recent dev blog. We love seeing your continual feedback and we thank you for your patience and support for the game. 
On top of regular free updates, we're also building on Eivor's story and the world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla through game expansions. Wrath of the Druids released a few weeks ago, allowing players to explore Ireland and battle a mysterious cult. Funny. The children she of Daniel. Jewish. Ew. I understood that reference. <laughs> I'm only half paying attention to what you said. To what happened? The siege Sorry, I made a. This is the I made a space wall. Oh, okay. Taking place in war-torn Francia. I should rewatch that sometime. It's been a while. In it's your so power good. To uncover it is. Enemy secrets and form strategic God, I love that movie. In order to safeguard your clan's future. Players may be excited to learn that black box infiltration missions are returning. This means you're given a goal for a mission. I mean, it's alright. It's in it up to you. Usually, I don't have a lot that it, like, new excites me. Now, if there's a new Rayman game that I don't need rabbits, then I'd be Weapons, excited. gear, and of course, <laughs> new enemies. Watch out for the Siege of Paris coming this summer. Assassin's Creed has long focused on the exploration of history. And we are happy to announce that the new Discovery Tour will be released this fall. It will be free to all who own Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Explore the world and take a deeper dive into the history of the Viking Age. The team has crafted. I love these days that like where you'll get devs to play have to explain the time of Vikings when an update is free, so people don't think they're buying endeavors, DLC. Big and small. I, I mean, their fault for kind of ruining all that. So, yeah. <laughs> Whether you're an Assassin's Creed fan, you put yourself in that boat. History, now you got to. Or a student minute. looking to supplement your knowledge, the Discovery Tour Viking Age will have. Are you talking about the Riders game or whatever? Assassin's Creed Valhalla doesn't stop here. Well For the first time on an Assassin's Creed title, we'll be supporting the game well into its second year. Well, this year will be a very active year for the game. We're already working on more expansions for next year. Something tells me that Eivor is not done with Odin yet. Oh boy, more ass ass in my creed. Mm. It's a door. Ooh. It's a gate to the Ooh. nether. No. F flashbacks from last night. So you've seen some great yeah. games from us. Well, we Don't tell a soul. She might have an aneurysm based to Lynn. I can hear right now. Like, no! Has some exclusive content to share. <laughs> yeah. First Lynn, is come Mythic, on. The workplace comedy set in I feel so bad for her. <laughs> streaming on Apple TV Plus. If you haven't watched the second season yet, here's a look at what you've. She's basically babysitting for like three quarters of the stream. Why do you have goosebumps? This is an involuntary reaction to being inspired. I was emotionally manipulated. What's the difference? That's it, that's it, that's it. What the fuck is this? I don't know, but I'm hearing copyright music. It's a Apple Plus thing, Apple TV Plus thing. The TV show, which is apparently really good about game developers. It's called Mythic Quest. Movie Werewolves Within. It's a whodunit with teeth that'll be coming to theaters a June movie? 25th and on demand July 2nd. Ubisoft, why are you talking about fucking movies? Hello, everyone. I am Josh Rubin, the director of Werewolves Why is Ubisoft Within. making movies? And I'm Sam Richardson. I'm just going to skip ahead. Werewolves Within. That's fine. Werewolves Within was based off a Ubisoft game, and we're so excited to bring you an exclusive look just for you. Check it out. Werewolves Within. That sounds like a game. No, it's a movie. Yeah, but I can't find my place on the thing. Star. Just start doing the arrow keys. Keep jumping that's, forward. That's fair. It only goes five seconds at a time, though. Yeah. There we go. I mean, it's better than Apple randomly TV clicking Plus. and losing our And be sure to place. catch Werewolves Within this summer. In theaters or on your on-demand platforms. No hero story is complete without a great rival to match them. After all, even the most vile tyrant is a star of their own narrative. When it comes to memorable villains, okay, what no one going is it better us? than Far Cry. Oh, it's Far Cry time. Again. 
And again, at least Ubisoft would be the one to have the best one for Parker. Abuela, what the hell am I gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, oh, yeah. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket for his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get out of boxing now. Get the on. Gracias. Don't worry about it, Chamaco. Here. It's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no. Well, that's a red flag right there. You mean, no, no. El Presidente. Me papa love to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. You have poison, Yara! You have poison your sword! I've caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. 13 years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. That's dark. Yeah, sounds yeah. about right, though. <laughs> You've just seen another disturbing lesson from Anton Castillo, passed down to his son Diego as he grooms him to become the future ruler of Yara. Oh, the most we're important Toronto. part of crafting a Far Cry villain huh? isn't the fact that this is the Toronto evil, division we saw. Shocking. It's yeah. that there's someone that could sit across from you at the dinner table I think he recognized the accent. and charm you into thinking no. that everything they the, believe Toronto, in, Toronto no matter Indians how don't talk like that. twisted or horrified, they talk close to like what I do. Absolutely true. Uh, okay. That's the secret to Anton's power, and we couldn't be prouder to have him join the Far Cry family. Now, when creating Dr. Wildy, I'm not really interested in Far Cry. <laughs> because when you I've think not played Far any of their games, so you think about its rich legacy of my, villains. My my favorite Far Cry game which is Paradise today, Lost. A very special day for Far Cry fans. Which people not say is not doesn't count as a Far Cry game. So I'm like, okay. 
We finally get to invade some of our <laughs> Blood Dragon friends. is also our fantastic. Dream was to honor the Far Cry mm. villain's tradition Blood Dragon's good. and introduce a brand new experience. It is time to see the other side. Go further down the rabbit hole and it's up to you to find a way out. They they do they are known for having really interesting villains. Yeah, yeah, I'll give them that much. Yeah. My my, what a happy family. <laughs> RJ, tell your mother and sister to. You are alive. That is all that matters. What the fuck? What is no this? context for anything. Where the fuck am I? It's a backstory DLC game or something, whatever. Who isn't afraid to I am taking to How'd you know? What? 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 Is this a test? A dream? An opportunity? Then I will not waste it. Seems like going into the villain's backstory or something. I Not guess. quite backstory. Which, I mean, I think... you literally just said they have interesting villains, so, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Something to do with all the villains from the past Far Cry games. Except the one from Far Cry 5, unless that one was shown. I'm pretty sure that was uh, uh, shown on a couple. I think it showed the Far Cry 5 villain. Wait. Did you a Blood Dragon? Yeah, looks like it. Far Cry 3. Blood Dragon, yeah. But you get Blood Dragon with the season pass, okay. We're so excited for you all to check out this next game. Oof, Neil, I can't wait to get my hands on this one. Oh, it's rabbits. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, it is. The first one was this okay. Trailer. The trailer is so good. <laughs> the first Mario and Rabbits was okay. It, lacking, having a lack of experience points didn't really help. See, is that supposed to be Starfy? No. Those stupid things are called sparks, and I kind of love them. Mm. Also, the new character reveal here in a second. the idea of Mario with friggin' guns. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah! I love how, like, um, when it when Nintendo does it, it gives Mario guns, it's cutesy. When Sega does it, we get Shadow the Hedgehog. Yep. Yeah. I fucking love Rabbit Rosalina. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a complete mood. Your words, Mario. Ooh, ah! <laughs> How do you know it's not another language? It's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> 
I almost said I don't speak bottom. <laughs> I'm playing that Italian is bottom. Mario and Rabbits in space. Mm. I'm just happy for the return of Rosalina. Yeah. Who I assume is in this, since there's a rat of Rosalina. I'd hope so, because they had the Peach and Rabbit. The whole team is super uh -huh. proud of this new game. And I oh my god, his accent is so ridiculous. It's fair to say that we did something quite surprising. I've never heard anyone who rolls his R's like he does. Kingdom battle. <laughs> and for this project, we didn't want to stop there. Hi, everyone. Mario and the Rapti are back. And I'm so <laughs> excited to be back as well today to unveil our new project, Mario plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope. We are diving back into this unique crossover with even bigger ambitions. He really does roll his R's, doesn't our he? Universe like, he does. Major scale. He's like gargling them R's. I the love him. Kingdom. There is an <laughs> yeah. entire galaxy to save. To do so, you will lead a brave yet reckless team of unique Yeah, he's rolling his R's a lot. Including some fresh faces like Rabbit God damn, why do you have to point it out? And other surprises. It's, the, so, it's I can't unhear it now. I can't. That's the only thing I'm paying attention to. Spaceship will bring them from planet to planet. They will be facing Rosalina Rabbits. Villain, Plushy Cursor, Luma is a freaking gun. Enemy unlike I love it. Our heroes encountered before. But they won't be alone. By their side, they will have their new allies. God. The sparks. <laughs> These surprising creatures, born from the merge of rabbits and oh my God. will land their wild powers. <laughs> so beautiful. Sky, they why did you do that? An origin like like you wouldn't notice it. I wouldn't have hyper-focused on it this way. After the tremendous success of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, like this guy almost has like an American accent, almost. By the amazing uh -huh. reception from players across the world, we were stunned by the love we felt uh, for this yeah. unexpected if you team. Yeah, if you didn't know otherwise, you probably we wouldn't have guessed. We know we've been off the radar for a while now, as we wanted to take the time needed to bring this Oi. crossover to the Oi. next level. It's not Oi. just a new story with new enemies, Oi. new heroes. Mario, Mario plus Rabbit sparks of hope has big ambitions. It introduces new action elements into the Stop mix it. that will push the boundaries <laughs> of tactical Absolutely games not. even further. <laughs> that being said, we also wish to offer an easy to play experience for all players, yet hard to master for those of you that Don't are push willing like. to take the challenge. <laughs> be able to experience this cosmic adventure exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. We can't wait to tell you more about the game. Why are you throwing her with a good time, Zero? There is an entire galaxy to save. God damn it. And we cannot wait <laughs> for you to experience it. Oh. Oh, free alpha. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what, fucking Luigi and Peach just stay on the fucking ship? You can choose your character, your team. Okay, that makes sense then. Oh man, the combat is so cool, too bad it's pointless. Mm. Pointless? Yes. What do you mean? You don't get any benefits from it. Oh. Peter Mario style? Unfortunate. What do you mean Maybe by Peter Mario style? Point. Um, Color Splash, there was no benefit to fighting enemies. Well, Color really? Splash, you at least got paint. Well, no, they use paint. Yeah, but you can increase your paint bar. I guess. Um, sticker Star, you're just wasting stickers. 
That's then, the one sticker star. And then Origami Kingdom. Uh, 2022. Okay. Was uh, so we're not basically done yet. all coins. Let's check in with our CEO, Eve Gimo. So it was actually more effective to skip battles than to do them. Mm. Huh. I saved so many coins by not getting into combat in that game. <laughs> Hi, everyone. As you have seen, we have a also the combat in Origami King is trash. Coming soon. And this is yes. just the beginning. Well, I like the combat in Origami Thanks King. I just wish you got benefits you from it. For what it's so achieve. tedious. And for always striving to deliver the best possible game experiences. I'm humbled. I didn't like Oregon the King. The best Paper Mario game would come out in the last 10 years is called Bug Fables. What has been a challenging year. I'm also proud of our it's a perfect example of how they did everything right of that Nintendo's doing from well. around the world to share memorable experiences and moments of joy. Man, this digital zoom is driving me crazy. One of the real powers of video games. Digital zoom. And it is yeah, and it, every time they do a zoom in, it's a digital zoom. To do our best. Finally, my sense is It's compressed on my end, so. The players. Yeah. We appreciate the trust. I mean, if they film it with a 4K camera, it's not a big deal, but. In our games communities, keep them growing and vibrant. We want to create original, enriching, long lasting game worlds. And your contributions, feedback, and support make it possible. We also are proud that some of the biggest names in entertainment trust our creative teams to develop games within their universes. For example, you just saw Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. I prefer the physical version of Dr. World, but I didn't get the collector's favorites. edition. Mario Digital Zoom is lazy if you have adventure. a big production, not if you're a small team. Yeah. Like, I and use Digital Zoom, obviously, but, like, if, yeah. there is if I had the option, exciting thing I would need just, would like to You just have to make sure that your zoom out it is is, is laid out in an interesting way, and then you can do a punch in on the Digital Zoom to do a close-up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there, there's ways to make it interesting. It's not always lazy, but it just kind of comes down to what equipment you have available. I'm excited to share this first look with you. I think they're doing it to hide cuts. Enjoy. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's generally why I do it. I mean, that's just how it is. I mean, it, when you have the current YouTube culture is kind of smash jump cuts that just don't have any sort of flow to them. I don't know. I didn't get this far last time. Oh. Avatar? Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, fuck like this. Oh, no. It looks Why? gorgeous, but fucking... I, I, found, I sound like a terrible person when I say it, but I really... Really hope the second Avatar movie bombs hard. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Waldi, I didn't want the collector's edition. I just wanted it physically. Yeah, the second Avatar movie, like, it has to be the best movie ever made, or it, it's over. Like, and it, it can't rely on the same shtick either. It's it's not visually interesting to look at anymore. Mm-hmm. It's, it's been hyped to shit. And apparently there's six other sequels planned, so it's like... Yeah, no, it's not bad. Yeah, six. it keeps jumping up. Why? Like, I'm planning three. I mean four. I mean seven. James Cameron doesn't know when to stop. Doesn't. It's like, dude, hey, remember um, when you stopped at the second Terminator movie and then somebody else decided to continue them? I wonder why those other ones didn't do so well. I kind of like the... Not the latest one, but the one before it. I like Genesis. It was okay. I think Genesis was the one, yeah. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. And I wish they had kept going, because that's the one where he uh, merges with the T-1000 at, at the end, right? I can't remember. Anyway, I that one. Genesis. That one was interesting. I just don't give a shit about Avatar, Dr. Wally. No. Yeah. I didn't really think it was all that great when it first came out, either, honestly. I don't really care I, for it. it was interesting. Like I knew it wasn't going to be fun because it was going to be blah blah blah, Pocahontas, Smurf in space, blah blah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But 
Yeah. It, it, it entertained me as I was watching it, and that was it. Yeah. It wasn't the best movie of all time thing that everyone else seemed to think it was. No, and I had the Blu-ray to it because it was a great showcase for TVs, but mm -hmm. I, I lost the disc and I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, that's the best thing that you can say about about Avatar. It's great for testing your TV. Yes. Yeah. It was right when uh, 3D TVs were big too, and I worked at Sears at the time, so I, I watched that movie a lot. I also watched Tron Legacy a lot, which was a million times better. <laughs> All right, covered music. I muted. Seems like this might be the uh, closing. Seems like for it. it. I'll probably have one I big still review. Want them to port uh, Paradise Lost to something, but I don't think they ever will. Probably not. I think Ubisoft forgets that game exists. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But man, I used to love playing that game in the arcades. They have a subscription service now. God damn it. That's the new thing. Of course they do. Ubisoft. Today, we bounce from our Like we were saying earlier, Rainbow Zero, Zero time's cyclical. Learn some new songs in Rocksmith. Everything is cyclical. I'm yep. so pissed about Rocksmith. I got really excited during that trailer. At the very end, they're like, subscription. Never mind. We yeah. Just a chilling confrontation in Far Cry mm -hmm. 6. And teamed up with our favorite like band the... in Mario plus Rabbids. Don't go anywhere. There's the still interface more to come looks in leaps and bounds show. better than the, than the old one. Is there anything in the post show? I don't know. Looks like devs talking. Yeah, it's just a bunch of talking. Talking. He's just talking. All right, so all that's left is Gearbox for Saturday. Jesus, we've been going for almost seven hours now. Yep, over seven hours. Yeah. On my stream, I mean, start, so. Well, yeah, but we didn't actually start till one, so it's almost eight now. All right. Apparently, the Gearbox showcase is only 30 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad.